Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. I'm really excited about this one. This is one I've been looking forward to a great deal. Really, really thrilled to have this one. Big thanks to Goodies Toys for passing over a early review sample. Um, yeah, he managed to get them in a little bit earlier. So uh, yeah, he, he passed one on for review. So big shout out to Goodies Toys. Absolute legend. I you know, love the look of this figure. This is one I'm going to have to get sec a second of just to keep carded because it does look so nice. I just love that image of Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka. I think it's just really, really nice. That's all I can say about it. Um, let me take a look at the back. She is VC222. So I have... Reviewed Bib and Quill and Bo Katan. Um, hopefully, th these two Yoda and the clone have just come out, but I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to pick them up at this stage. Maybe down the line a little bit, but I have no need for those two figures again. Um, Death Watch Mandalorian, hopefully, he'll be out very shortly, as well as Fennec Shan. So, I'm excited about them and adding some more characters to the Mandalorian. So, yeah, let's. A quick close-up of her in the packaging really really nice that is just bang on she looks fantastic just the image like the green background the blue they've just nailed it I just really really like this figure I'm looking forward to opening it I have her six inch counterpart on the way as well so I'll be reviewing that one as soon as I get it Got a few other figures here to my left to do, so these will be coming up in the next few days. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to the channel because I've got more reviews coming. Um, but yeah, we're going to open this one up and take a look, so let's do that. Alright, here she is out of the packaging. And this is going to be, I'll be honest, this is a favourite of mine from the Vintage Collection. Um, you know, it helps I'm a big Ahsoka fan, so um, yeah, I'm just blown away by this figure I think it looks really nice so I'm just gonna give it a little 360 if I can get it to spin properly <laughs> um, yeah the season 7 Ahsoka that we got last year was you know a big hit for me that was definitely a winner and to have this one as its counterpart as well as the uh, we're getting the original vintage collection Ahsoka re-released very very soon I know some people have already got them so Looking forward to that release as well. Um, I do have the original, but I'd like to get another one. And we'll pick her up in a minute, but I'm just going to show you the lightsabers. So they aren't removable off the off the pins. Um, let's fucking focus a little bit better here. So I'm just going to try and focus. Yeah, so they're just a clear plastic with a little bit of silver painted onto the hilt. There are some spots where it looks like it's not quite as heavily painted, but it's not a big deal. They're going to be in her hands, and then a smaller Shoto Sabre. So they're really nice. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put them in her hands just to display. For the moment yes I know I haven't done reverse grip but I will <laughs> when she goes on display she will be total reverse grip badass so I'm just looking at the detail like the sculpt of this thing in three and three quarter inch like absolutely nailed it in my opinion I think that's just absolutely beautiful a little bit more light there we go Just absolutely nailed it. The paint is nice and clean all over the entire figure. There's no sort of bleeding. Uh, profile is just... It's amazing. I love it. Love, love, love it. The head back head tail there looks fantastic. Sort of blue swirls. Really nice stuff. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit of silver paint missing from the ring of her belt. That sort of ring in the middle there, but that's not a big deal. 
We've all got a nice little silver sharpie to the side that we uh, touch up figures with and uh, yeah, I'll more than likely do that at some point, but again, it's, it's a very small detail and uh, I'm not going to be too fussy about it. Because to have this figure in hand right now is, uh, is something else. Really, really thrilled with this one. So it looks like she's sporting the same uh, arm gauntlets as the Clone Wars Season 7 Ahsoka. So if there is any reuse, that's that's all I'm picking up from that. Go down to her boots. Maybe the feet as well. But not having one on hand at the moment to uh, compare. Love what they've done with the knee joints. With those sort of baggy uh, trousers. I don't know what their actual name is, but uh, you know, the sculpts put in there very nicely. You get a really nice sort of angle of motion there at the knee. And it doesn't look sort of out of place or weird or anything. It looks like it just sort of flows very nicely. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that on the Black Series version to see how they compare. But I can't, I just can't stop looking at this figure. It's so nice. Of course there is a deluxe version coming out where she comes with the sort of soft goods um, and a few other small accessories. I'd like to try and get my hands on that one as well but uh, you know I feel like something as little as a small goods, a soft goods sort of poncho sort of thing should be included with a vintage collection especially the price point they are these days but you know that's not for me to decide that's for the bigger powers at play. All I have to decide is whether I want to buy it or not. <laughs> That's what we need to remember sometimes. We don't have to buy them just because they're uh, made a little bit different. So, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed opening this figure up. I think it looks amazing. I've just, you know, I'm a big Ahsoka fan. To see this one immortalized in plastic is absolutely amazing. I love it. Really, really love it. So. Love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. I'd love to hear hear your thoughts on this one. Um, yeah, just a really nicely detailed, sculpted, molded, articulated figure. Nice work there, Hasbro. Um, yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone that jumps on board and gets to know me as a Star Wars fan and collector because I just, you know, I have so much fun with this hobby. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for your support and we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.